Hi guys, uh, grinder modification number two. Um, so obviously, you've seen the uh, larger, the larger uh, tool rest there. Um, you'll also notice that it's wet. Um, if you can't guess what it is, <laughs> I'll show you. Now, first saw this on Jay Corbach's grinder, um, and I like the idea of it. Uh, so basically, first thing I've done is I've modified and added this guard because you get a lot of splash. You end up looking like you've wet yourself. Um, modified this guard slightly so it's a different shape, and again to avoid splashing. And put a little grommet in there, and attached to the grommet is a small water jet, a six millimeter tubing. Well, a four millimeter ID, which I might need to increase. I think I need to increase that tubing's um, internal diameter. Um, I've got, I've put an inline power supply, power switch uh, behind the motor, away from all the water uh, down here, which is semi permanently attached to the table, so it can't move into the direction of the spray. Obviously the guards here stop it from going anywhere else. This unit's waterproof or water resistant anyway. And I've seen these motors pretty much submerged in water in a, in a packing factory. So um, Inside there we have a small pump. Um, I had to modify a normal cork to fit. And uh, for some reason the... I think that basically I think the ID of the tube, because the, the adjuster's not given me any adjustability and I think the ID of, of the tube's too small, so I'm going to upgrade this to probably quarter inch ID. Um, but yeah, basically, switch it on, water pumps, sprinkler system, grinder on. There's a bit of water going here and there. Um, a little bit of spray on the back. Nothing going anywhere near the motor or the or the um, or the inverter. Uh, around here, I'm catching it all. Basically, coming just to the edge of the platen. So it's not quite making me look like I've wet myself, um, but yeah, obviously it needs a few tweaks here and there, but I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to actually cut angles in here, see where that's dripping off the side, I think if I cut an angle here it'll naturally run back down and go onto the belt, um, so yeah. What have I got? Nice big slab of D2. And that's a really warm belt, really warm. And yeah, cooked off a little bit on the edge, but I'd say that's a success. Um, all I need to con be concerned with is this bucket, the catch bucket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a tap on the side of here so I can just drain it off as it gets full. And obviously I need to keep an eye on the main bucket over there, but there you go. Thank you to Jake Corbach for um, sharing the idea. I know other people have done it, but I saw his first. Um, but yeah, there you go. Water cooled 272, which cost me about 50 quid. <laughs> No, 
all I do, switch it off. So if I do put a different belt on, uh, if I put a Trizact on, then I can just knock the water supply off, give it a quick wipe down, um, and away we go. I am going to put some um, some wing nuts or something in there that can allow me to quick release it. Uh, I might even make a drop in bracket since I've got the mill. Um, so this just drops in. If that makes sense, and then just lifts out. But yeah, there we go. Not a drop of water on the motor or anything like that. So I'd say that's a result.